I married a man, but now I'm married to a woman. I'm Caroline, and I've been married to Alex for 15 years. Our marriage has been falling apart for a long time. He is a lazy and useless man who has no interest in me or anything else. He is unemployed and lives off his benefits, which barely pay the bills. I work full-time to keep us afloat, but he doesn't lift a finger to help with the housework. He just watches TV all day and expects me to serve him tea or beer. He doesn't care about our birthdays, anniversary, or Christmas. He doesn't even get me a card. I'm fed up with him, but I don't want to leave him because I love our house. I wish I could turn him into my obedient wife who would do all the chores and be more attentive to me. That's how I changed him from my husband to my wife. My friend Susan and I have been close for several years. We like to hang out on Fridays and go back to her place for some intimacy that I crave. My husband is a good-for-nothing man who neglects me and our marriage. He is unemployed and lazy, and he doesn't help me with anything. Susan and I have an idea to turn him into my wife. It sounds insane, but why not? We have hormone pills that we got from lying to the doctor. We said we had menopause, even though we are only in our early 40s. They gave us as many pills as we want, so we have enough to spare. I have been slipping two pills a day to Alex, pretending they are vitamins. He has been changing lately. He does the dishes, he cares about his outfits, and he even said he liked my dress. He is unaware that he is growing more and more feminine. I told him he was too hairy when he stripped for bed last night. He didn't realize the changes, but he asked me if he could borrow my hair removal cream. I said yes, of course, my love, anything to make you beautiful. He smiled at the idea of being beautiful. I secretly upped his hormone pills to three a day. I told him they would keep his skin smooth and soft. The next night, he was gazing at his hairless body in the mirror, touching his silky skin. I suggested he could apply my body lotion if he wanted to maintain his beauty. Now he massages my lotion all over himself every night, and I got him his own bottle to use. He loves the floral scent of it. I have to say he smells much better. He also started using a fragrant shower gel every morning, and I got him to help me with some housework. One day, I returned from work and found him rummaging through my underwear drawer. Did you misplace something, honey? I asked. No, sweetie, he said. I was just admiring how lovely your underwear is. It's much prettier than mine. I said, we wear the same size, honey. You can try something on if you want. Would you mind? He asked. No, sweetie, whatever you like. Before I knew it, he had slipped into my pink camisole panties and a mismatched camisole top. Wow, honey, I said, you look so beautiful in that. I do, don't I? He said, as he strutted around the bedroom, gazing at himself in the mirror. He decided to keep them on for a while. That night, he cooked the dinner and tidied up the whole kitchen after we ate. He never went back to his male underwear after that night. That weekend, we went shopping in the city. We visited almost every women's clothing store we could find. He didn't stay outside like he used to. He was clearly fascinated by the feminine clothes. He started to try on dresses in front of himself. How do I look, honey? He asked, eager to wear some dresses. Why did you choose some, honey, and I'll join you in the fitting room? Soon, he had a pile of girly clothes, dresses, skirts, tops, and more. We entered the fitting room together. The clerk gave us a weird look, but she didn't stop us. He put on different outfits, and I complimented his appearance in each one. He wondered if the dresses made his bum look too big, and I assured him it was perfect. He was enjoying himself immensely. I had not witnessed this enthusiasm in him for a long time. He was definitely becoming the girl. We bought him all the clothes he liked, and I told him I had seen his breast growing. I suggested we should get him some bras before they start to sag. He agreed and said they looked very nice and perky. He asked me if I thought he was a pretty girl now. I said yes, of course, darling. After the lingerie department, we got him some beep bras for the time being and some bigger ones for later. We also got him his own panties, stockings, tights, camisoles, knickers, suspender belts, and baby doll nighties. We stopped at a shoe store and bought him a variety of feminine shoes. He was thrilled to get home and try on all the clothes he liked. We got him some flats, some heels, sandals, and CT shoes, and some cute pink fluffy slippers for the house. He looked like such a pretty girl that night as we had a fun fashion show. He wore one of the new bras that fit his small breasts snugly. He also wore some satin panties and a suspender belt. He put on some white sheer nylon stockings and a beautiful floral dress with net underlayers and shoulder ruffles. He wore some black court shoes with low heels and he resembled the wife. 
You looked amazing, darling, so chick and sexy, don't you agree, dear? I said you would make some people jealous in that outfit. I told him there was only one thing left to do, his hair. I asked him what he thought about making it more feminine. He said he had grown it out while he was at home and not working. How about I curl it and give it some volume, I suggested. He loved the idea, so we went to the bathroom. Soon he had his hair shampooed, permed, and in rollers. I put the hood of my home hair dryer over him, and he sat there. I helped him transform into a beautiful woman. I started with some foundation, then added some blush and highlighter to his cheeks. I shaped and filled his thick eyebrows with a pencil. I applied some eyeshadow to his lids and mascara to his lashes. I finished with a gorgeous deep red lipstick. You look stunning, sweetheart, I said. He grinned as he admired himself in the mirror. While his hair was drying, I painted his nails with a matching polish. He loved every second of his makeover. I removed the dryer hood and the rollers. He had a cascade of tight curls. I brushed and styled them and sprayed some hairspray. I put my pearl necklace around his neck and he was ready. How do you feel, darling? I asked. You look so pretty tonight. I do, don't I, dear? He answered. I'm such a lovely girl now. After that night, Alex wore only women's clothes and donated all his men's clothes to charity. I was impressed by how he also became a domestic goddess. The house was immaculate. His cooking skills improved as he learned from every cookbook we had. And I always had a delicious meal waiting for me. He would spend his free time doing the grocery shopping or reading his feminine magazines when I returned from work. I began to call him Alexa, which he liked more. He was growing more feminine by the day and I had to buy him some bras. He had turned into the wife I always wanted and needed, taking care of the house and me. One Friday, he dressed up and joined me and Susan for a drink. We had a great time and Alexa attracted some male attention. I saw him kissing one of them in the pub's lobby, but I didn't care. I had Susan. I told him to move to the spare room in case he wanted to invite someone over for the night. He, or rather she, agreed that it was a good idea. She shifted her clothes to the spare room and gave me our old one. Alexa came along with me and Sizen on our regular Friday nights. Susan and I had fun in the large bedroom while Alexa slept in the small one. She didn't care about our little romance since she was into men more than women. Susan and I had an open marriage and one night she met a muscular man at the bar. She took him to her room and they had a lot of fun, if you catch my drift. They even shared a morning meal in bed. Our life was wonderful and she was a loving spouse to me. We both enjoyed our affairs. Alexa, who used to be a man, bought a bigger bed for her and her new lover. They needed more room for their activities. She had the surgery to become a woman, and she is truly my wife now. She is such a sweetheart. The three of us go out every Friday, and Alexa always finds a new man to spend the night with. She tells me how well endowed they are, but I still like girls more. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found the content valuable, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest content and be part of our growing community.